this video will demo the Tesla app for those potential Tesla owner what to expect. So there's a lot you can do with the Tesla app, a lot more than other manufacturer. First off, you can crack your window open on a hot sunny day just to vent it out before you get to the vehicle. And let's say you want to close it, you can do this remotely anywhere across the world with internet or mobile connection. You can obviously unlock your vehicle anywhere in the world as well as lock it. You can flash your headlights if you're having trouble finding your vehicle at night. You can also honk the horn and start the car for someone else if you're not around. You have to do this every time a person wants to drive your vehicle without your phone or key card. You can open your trunk, your hood, your trunk, as well as your front and open up your garage if your car is nearby. You can also close it. So each of these function or controls do ask for confirmation. So if you accidentally bump it um, while your phone is unlocked, uh, there is a secondary confirmation to make sure the commands is correct. And you can also turn on valet mode. Let's say you forgot to turn it on before you drop it off to a valet inside the vehicle. You can turn it on remotely that limit the speed, the acceleration, etc. You can turn on sentry mode. That's all the cameras around your vehicle 360 view of any movement. And you can also limit speed for any driver you let borrow your vehicle. So that's the main control. So a lot of options. You can also do quick control, so this is your main page. You can turn on the air condition and heater. You can control the temperature. You can obviously open your, your trunk and lock and unlock your vehicle. In addition, you can open up your charge port and unlock it for someone else to pull it for you if you're not present or plug it in for you if you're not present. Uh, again, you can also control it by inside the vehicle or pushing on that charge port. And lastly, summon. You can move it forward, backward, or use smart summon and get the vehicle to drive to you from a parking spot. That's really pretty much the main controls. Uh, in addition, you can Request service, you, you can't call Tesla to schedule an appointment. You do this all through the app, which I find is more convenient. And then you get a confirmation. You see all the open time date based on your convenience. Either they will determine to send a ranger to you or you will have to bring it into a service center. There's a lot of option to select here on what issues you have. And if it's not listed, you can always click on other. Lastly, you have roadside assistant. Again, no one to call. You do this through the app. So the only thing that is a downside here is if your phone is out of battery. So always have your phone fully charged or almost fully charged when you're driving a Tesla, at least a Tesla Model 3 um, Y because they don't actually have a key fob. There is an option to buy the key fob though. Anyways, hopefully you find this video helpful for those potential buyers. There's a lot of function you can do with the Tesla app. This is a lot more than what it was two years ago, so I can only see it improve from here on out. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're on the market for a Tesla Model 3 S or X um, or Y. Use the referral link in the description of this video for supercharging or unlimited supercharging for inventory vehicle. Catch you all next time.